how to install Android 12 Beta 5 from the Pixel 5 on the Xiaomi Mi 11X, the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Android 12 Beta 5 from the Pixel 5 on the Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Another thing you need to make sure is that your data is going to be lost so yes you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you do have a backup of all those things another prerequisite of installing android 12 beta 5 from the pixel 5 on your device is that you need to be coming from xiaomi eu again that is a prerequisite by the developer so you need to be coming from xiaomi eu the only exception is that either you are already running oxygen os port by the developer or you are on android 12 beta 4.1 from the same developer in that case you can skip installing xiaomi eu but other than that you do have to switch from xiaomi eu and again video on how to install xiaomi eu can be found in the description of this video Video. So here it is. I do have the Poco F3, which right now is running MIUI 12.5.4, but this is Xiaomi EU. So installing Xiaomi EU is a prerequisite for this specific build of Android 12 beta for the Poco F3, the Redmi K40, or the Xiaomi Mi 11X, whatever you want to call it. Next up, we will go into settings and then you can go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing first of all turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up once you feel the vibration let go of the power button keep volume up pressed this is going to ensure that we boot into twrp recovery and herein we need to flash the latest firmware for our specific device so if you have the poco f3 you will flash the firmware for poco f3 else you will flash it for me 11x or for the redmi k40 so we will go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the firmware file in my case i downloaded it on my phone directly so it is in the download folder all i need to do is select Select the file and then all you need to do is swipe to confirm flash and there it is you can see the firmware is being flashed on my Poco F3 or the Mi 11X. Once that is done tap on the home button go into reboot and herein we need to select bootloader again we are going to select bootloader do not get confused with fast boot this is going to boot you into fast boot D mode we need to boot into the normal fast boot mode so we are going to select bootloader and there it is you can see we do have the me bunny logo and at this point we are going to connect our phone to the computer using the usb cable so here we are on the computer of course make sure your laptop if you're using one is charged enough and it is connected to a power source if you have low battery and also turn off any of the battery saver options which you might have on your laptop like turning off the hard disk when device is inactive for save one minute or turning off your screen savers all those things you do not want your device to be turning off while you're flashing a custom rom on your smartphone so this here is the file which you need this is android 12 beta 5 for the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k 40 do note this is an archive file and you need to unzip it i am using winrar you can use any software which you want to 
unzipping is as easy as right click and say extract to select the name of the file and once that is done it is going to create another folder so if i go inside this folder you will see here and i have linux tools win tools and the other files which are needed along with the different flashers first step i perform is to check whether your device is being detected in fast boot mode or not so i will go inside win tools folder and then i will tap on the address bar here and type in cmd and then press the enter key so now we have opened a command prompt window the next thing we are going to do is enter the command fastboot space devices and once that is done press the enter key so as you can see my device is being detected in fastboot mode so we can close the command prompt window and now you need to go back to the master folder so this here is our main folder you have over here linux tools win tools and the different flashes so let us say you are already running android 12 beta 4.1 by the same developer on your poco f3 me 11x then you can use this update file but if you are installing it for the first time then you need to use the force wipe file again you have a flasher for linux and you have a flasher for windows since we are using windows we are going to use the windows flasher now do note during the process the phone will reboot multiple times it might seem that it is stuck but just be patient and keep following along so next up all i am going to do is double click on this file and at this point the flashing has started the device already rebooted once and this message of vb meta failed can be ignored because the previous ones were flashed without any errors and now as you can see boot underscore a was sent boot underscore a b was sent and now the other stuff which is needed is being sent to the device again everything has been flashed successfully so far except for that vb meta which as i mentioned earlier can be ignored and same applies for this next vb meta as well can be ignored the device might have rebooted one more time and now we are getting the message of invalid sparse file format at header magic nothing is wrong everything is absolutely fine just a warning just be patient pretty soon you should be flashing the super partition and there it is you can see we are now sending super one of seven which means we will eventually reach super seven of seven and this might take some time so you have to be patient so as you can see everything was flashed with respect to the super and now finished in what 252 seconds again this time might vary based on your computer whether you have a ssd what is the usb port you are using so a lot of different factors but at this point it might seem that the phone is stuck but do not do anything it is still in the flashing process you just have to be patient do not and i repeat do not disconnect your device from the computer until and unless the utility or you get the message of press any key to exit and there it is you can see there were some changes something was done and now the device has rebooted multiple times and we are getting the message of press any key to exit on our command prompt at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer and you should also have the google boot animation on your device so here we are on the phone in fact we are on the setup screen and that did not take very long so i am getting a message about speech services crashing all i'm going to do here is close and about android beta program this is a message which you might get on every boot so you'll have to learn to live with it and now let me skip the initial setup real quick and bam there it is we are on the home screen and we can now go into settings about phone of course we'll mention the device as pixel 5 because this is a port of android 12 beta 5 from the pixel 5 running on the mi 11x or the redmi k 40 and of course i can also tap on the android 
version and here it is you can see android version is 12 security patch is from september 2021 which means this is android 12 beta 5 here it is this is your easter egg and of course with the latest build you should have the new clock widget as well of course for starters we do have the new android s easter egg widget in case you want to place that on your screen this is going to show you all the paint tiles of the different colors which are used and let us check if we have the clock widget also so we can go into the clock option bam here it is yep you do have the new clock widget as well and there it is peeps that is how you install the android 12 beta 5 from the pixel 5 on your redmi k40 the xiaomi mi 11x or the poco f3 and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.